In this video, we're going to be building this cool card. Now, at first, this might not look much. So here on hover, you'd see that this has a cool tilt effect, which we're going to be building in just three lines of JavaScript. And yeah, it's the source code is down in the description. So make sure to download that, play with it. And yeah, without any delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. Alrighty, so we're in my folder. Now we have some stuff here. So we have the background image, which has the background. And then we have the same image when I've removed the background. And then I have index.html file, tal.css, and then the logo of the Boom Studio. And that's it. So I have set the basic browser template out of the title and have also added the link tag to the style.css file. And in the CSS, I've imported the Afficad Flux font, and then I've added that as the font family, have removed the margin and padding and set the box sizing to border box. Now in the index.html file instead of the body, we're gonna get started by creating the main tag to hold the entire thing. And then within that, we can have the PG for the background, the blur background, and here, would have the card, which is basically the main content. Then within the BG, we're gonna add the image. And then inside of the card, we have the cover, the non-background image, which is this, the PNG one. So we'd add that, and then we have the logo, which is of Boom. So this is in WebP. And then we have the heading, which says Berserker. Let's save, and let's see. So yeah. Now we're going to move to the CSS. We're going to target the body. We're going to give it width and height to 100, 100 viewport height and 100 viewport width. And then we're going to target the main tag so that it takes in the entire width and height of the body, which is uh, 100 viewport height and 100 viewport width. And then we're going to center everything using display grid and place content to center. Let's save and we have everything at the center. Then we target the BG, the background. We make it position absolute since we want it to be at the, um, so we basically want it behind. So we set it as position absolute instead of giving width and height and then giving top and left value. We can just specify all four of those in one single value, which is inset to zero. And then we're gonna set overflow to hidden so that nothing flows out of the container and we don't have any scroll bars. Let's save, so this is how it looks. So remember, this is the container and not the actual image. So we're gonna target the image and we're gonna give it width of 100% so that whatever the width of this is, it takes in. And then we want object fit to cover and then also set the position to as relative. Let's save and yeah. Now we see the background image as uh, in front since the Z index of that. So we will remove that in a bit or basically we'd bring the card up top with a higher Z index in a bit. So here we have the BG cover, uh, I mean the BG before pseudo selector. And then here we're gonna set the content to as empty string, set the position as absolute, and then give the inset zero Z index to one, so that we bring the in, um, I mean this, which is kind of like an overlay. So this before element we want it up top. And then we set the backdrop filter as blur, we give it as 20 pixels as the blur value. Let's save, and this is how it looks. Now you see that we have the scroll bars, which will be removed in a second. So we'd also need a bit of a black, blackish kind of shade, since we don't want this to be like too red. So we'd add an RGBA value of 0 0.5 to the black. And then we target the card, we give it width of 400 pixels, background red, sort of. And then set the position as relative, add display flex, and then add box shadow of five pixel, five pixel on the X and Y, and then five pixel of the blur, the blur. And then we add the color here. And then we add for the negative X and negative Y with the same, with a, with the same shade, I mean, with the same black value, but then we just uh, reduce the alpha value to a bit since this is more like from the left and right side I mean, from the left and from the top side. So if we assume the light to be coming from this sec this section, so this would be a bit more lighter. So we'd reduced, we've reduced this uh, a bit more. And then after that is done, we're gonna set the Z index to one. Let's save. 
Now we get the card up front. Then we target the cover, which basically has the image. We give it width of 100% to set the height as fit content. And then give padding top, basically push the image uh, from top 50 pixels. And then set display flex, and then target the image inside of it, give max width of 100%, and set the object fit as contained. Let's save, and yeah, it looks decent. Then we give it a, now here we want the image to be up front. The reason for that is we have the berserker text which should be behind the image. So we give one more extra Z index. So we set the Z index to two and set the position as relative. Since here, if you want to set the Z index, you'd need to also specify the position of that. So I've set the position as relative. Then we target the H1, we give it font weight, font size, position absolute, we're gonna set the top 40 pixels, left 50%, and then center it using mm, transform translate X to minus 50%. And with that, the text is behind the image now. Then we set it in negative Z index, I mean one Z index lower than the cover image, so we set the Z index as one, and let's save. Yeah, all good. Then we set the color of that to white and then straight up go to the logo, which is this. So the logo would have width of 100 pixels, object fit to contain, position absolute, top and left value with Z index to two. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for the HTML and CSS. Now let's move to JavaScript. Now here we'd need a library for the tilt effect. So for that, we're gonna be using vanilla tilt. So to use that, you can come over to vanillas, you can type cdnjs vanilla tilt js and then go here and you can grab the CDN. So I'll just paste in the CDN. I'm using 1.7.2, you, you can get the latest one, which is 1.8.1. .1. And then after that is done, you're gonna start off with the script tag and here, you add, you basically initialize the vanilla tilt, and then here, inside of this init function, you pass in the element which should have the tilt effect. So we want this card, so we target it using document.querySelector, and here we pass in the card. So we pass in the class of card. And then you add some, so, and then you pass in an object of how you want it to work, so here you start off with the color braces and then add a max value of five, speed of 100. And with that, you get this cool tilt effect. And so yeah, that's it guys. Hope you liked the video, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something new. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, make sure to comment down what you liked, what you learned, and yeah, share this with your friends and family, share it with your friends who are interested in web development. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, turn the notification bell so that you never miss any of the update from the channel. And so yeah, thanks for watching. Meet you guys in the next. Till then, bye-bye.